All right, today we're gonna fix a common coolant leak on the Chevrolet Cruze 1.8 liter engine. So if you notice your uh, reservoir is getting low, coolant leak is coming from these two hoses back here. So the leak is coming from the two hoses back here, right at the heater core. So if you put your hand near the connector, uh, it's gonna be wet. And it also drips down on the power steering motor. So that's where it's coming from. It's gonna be hard to see because it is a slow leak. So both joints are wet. So if you notice that you're losing coolant and can't find the leak, then it's probably from these two hoses back there. And if you try to pressure test it, uh, you won't see a significant drop since this is a really slow leak. All right, so these are the two hoses that we're gonna need with the brand new connectors up here with the metal clip. So I'll put a link in the video description where you could get these parts either on Amazon or Rock Auto. And these are the GM OEM parts. So uh, we won't have any fitment issues. All right, so uh, links are gonna be in the video description to get your parts like these. All right, so to replace these, it's a pretty simple process. First, we're gonna start by draining the coolant from the drain on the radiator uh, down there. All right, so we're gonna put a bucket underneath and catch all the coolant. All right, so coolant is starting to drain. We could also squeeze the upper radiator hose to speed up the process. If your reservoir is already empty, you won't have much coolant coming out of the radiator. And also don't forget to open up the reservoir cap. All right, so to remove the connector joint near the heater core, uh, no specialty tools required, just get a pick. All right, so we're gonna pry on the sides here, like this. You wanna hold one side and then pry the other side. Okay, like so. You wanna just let it rest in the middle slot here until we uh, install it, and then we can push this clip in. So we're gonna raise both clips on both hoses and keep them like that until we're ready until we're ready to install. All right, so about 10 to 15 minutes, you should have drained most of the coolant. Now it's just dripping. So we're going to go ahead and tighten down the drain on the radiator and we're gonna start taking off the hoses. So before we start removing the hoses, um, just make note of the orientation. So which hose goes where. So one goes to the thermostat housing and the reservoir and the other one only goes to the thermostat housing. And also make note of how they are positioned. So one is above the other here and then they kind of go under each other in the middle and then they go back up each other near the uh, housing so just take a few pictures so it helps you out to put them in the exact same order all right so let's start and remove these hoses all right so both hoses are out so just make sure you clean the joint here at the heater core okay now we got space for the new hoses all right, so we're gonna start with the big one first. And then we'll move on to the smaller one here. All right, so both new hoses are in. Everything is secure. Uh, just take your time to maneuver them because uh, it was kind of a pain to see which one was on top and then snakes under here. And then make sure you go in the right inlet and outlet on the thermostat housing. All right, that's it. Now we're just gonna fill up the coolant. All right, now we're all done. All we have left to do is bleed the system. So uh, we're gonna fill up the reservoir and then we're gonna put on the heat to max and then uh, rev the engine at 2000 RPM for like 10 minutes. And that's gonna be enough to uh, bleed out the system. All right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you find it helpful. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you out. And one last thing, don't forget to uh, rinse out all the coolant that dripped. Uh, that's why my engine is wet. Anyways, take care. Peace.